Tonight, the world's most powerful rocket, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, is sitting on the pad at Kennedy Space Center. It's ready for a test launch tomorrow afternoon. But really, it's anybody's best guess how this thing's going to go. News 6 is Eric Von Anken. Just got off a conference call with Elon Musk himself, the CEO of SpaceX. So, Eric, what's his guess? Matt, he would not give a percentage on what he thought the chances of failure or success are. Turns out he was here during that teleconference. We didn't find out until afterwards, but he was in the building over there. The only reason they brought him here is because they said the phone system is easier to use here. He, he said he's almost surprised that no issues have popped up. He thought the weather would have been an issue. He thought there would have been no problem with the rocket. But he says tonight it's all looking good for tomorrow. Up close, SpaceX's towering trio of rockets, the most powerful operational launch vehicle in the world, is powerfully impressive. Two, one, zero, and lift off. The, the space shuttle was actually shorter than the Falcon Heavy, but more powerful, delivering 7 million pounds of thrust. When the Falcon Heavy lifts off with all 27 Merlin engines igniting on the three rocket boosters, the Heavy will be pushing away from historic KSC launch pad 39A with 5 million pounds of thrust. And lift off. But that's still much more double actually what the U.S. is now second most powerful rocket puts out, the Delta Heavy. You've probably seen it launch from the Space Coast. In this brand new SpaceX animation, David Bowie's Life on Mars is playing. That's where Elon Musk wants his Tesla convertible to end up. It's tucked into the nose cone of the rocket as a test payload, an eccentric one in typical Elon Musk fashion. After launch, the two side boosters will fall off and try to land at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, at the same time producing two sonic booms each. Then the main booster will try and land on SpaceX's barge in the Atlantic. And if everything goes right, the convertible with an astronaut dummy in the driver's seat will go into orbit around the sun at the edge of Mars. It's either going to be guaranteed to be exciting one way or another. Either going to be an exciting success or an exciting failure. Especially one big boom. Elon Musk did say again this afternoon what he said last year, that he will be very happy. He'll consider it a success if it just clears that launch tower back there. Whatever happens, he says, as you heard, it's going to be a show.